the COVID pandemic convulsed nations. And like everyone else, our researchers rose to this challenge. The speed of vaccine development and its efficacy is nothing short of a scientific miracle. A misconception is that mRNA vaccine is brand new technology. Well, it's not. Here is the timeline. If you look at the left-hand side, you see it was first discovered in 1961. And in 1990, the first vaccine proposal was made. So it's been like 30 years. It has been used to study cytomegalovirus, Zika virus, influenza, rabies. The mRNA technology is amazing. It can be used to target specific cancer cells. And researchers are working on it. In near future, we may have just like one vaccine to target many viruses at the same time. So less number of shots. Welcome, I'm Dr. Zoris Khan. Current mRNA vaccines against COVID are Pfizer and Moderna. Initial clinical trials were done over 40,000 individuals for Pfizer and around 30,000 for Moderna, and the results were fantastic, both showing close to 95% efficacy. I have compared them side by side, including published data, so you can pause the video for a minute and read the details. So how do they work? The vaccine targets the spike protein of the virus because that is what helps the virus enter our cells. The purpose of the vaccine is to let our bodies make antibodies against this. Three steps. Step number one, a synthetic messenger RNA encoding the instructions to make the spike protein is extracted from the genetic material of the virus. Step number two, the messenger RNA due to its fragility is wrapped up in tiny oil bubbles or lipid nanoparticles which serve as vehicles for its delivery. The vaccine is then injected. Step number three, when it enters the body, the messenger RNA enters the cell's cytoplasm, not the nucleus where the DNA lives, but outside in the cytoplasm. That's where the action is. And this is the messenger RNA. It will soon break down once its job is done. It is carrying the message, which is going to be read by the protein manufacturing factories of the cells called ribosomes. The ribosomes take down the instructions to make the spike protein. You can see the protein being made here. And here you have it. These spike proteins are foreign and the immune cells come rushing in. They're first taken in by the antigen presenting cells, which activate the T cells. The natural killer cells and the B cells make the antibodies. In future, when your body comes across coronavirus, these antibodies will be ready to fight it off. Remember, it takes a few weeks after vaccination for the antibodies to start building up in your system. In an unvaccinated individual, the virus easily enters the cells and starts replicating. Whereas in a vaccinated individual, there are antibodies there which prevent that from happening. So you see the difference? A vaccinated person's body is well prepared in advance, whereas an unvaccinated person's body is not. Make the right choice. This is a public service message in accordance with CDC guidelines. Please share and raise awareness. Thank you.